almost New Year! Oh wait, Happy almost New Year! <laughs> Feathers every day. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Was clean. <laughs> it's the end of 2018, and where have I been? It's been such a crazy, hectic year. And let's catch up! There's been a lot of ups and downs this year. You going down? Good job. There's been a lot of ups and downs this year, and a lot of us are saying that 2018 has been a really crappy year. Uh, needless to say, I'm not where I thought I'd be. Uh, I had lots of expectations of 2018 that didn't yet happen. There's been a lot of job losses in the family. We had to say goodbye to one of our dogs. And all around, it's just been an off year. I'm not sure what's going on. But here are 18 things. I don't have 18 fingers. And my resolution for 2019 is to think positively and put positive vibes out into the universe. And what better time to start a resolution than whenever you want to. Here are 18 things that are great and I'm so happy that have happened in 2018. Number one, I turned 24 in January. I'm not sure what 24 year olds are supposed to do. I don't think I feel like a 24 year old, but it was a very fun birthday and I had fun celebrating with all my friends that turned 24 this year too. Number two, I got my wedding dress and my veil and all the accessories I need and I cannot wait. I did a hair trial and I almost cried. Oh my goodness. It took quite a lot of decision making. We looked at a couple of venues and we picked our beautiful wedding venue. We are getting married next July and it's going to be beautiful. All our family is so excited and I, I couldn't be more happier to be planning this wedding and everything that's happening around it. It's just a pleasure. Number four is quite a big one. Uh, for a while at work, I started to feel undervalued and like things just weren't going like they should be. And I finally made the decision to retire, meaning I quit and no one was paying. Number five, I went on a beautiful cruise with my family and friends to go to my cousin's wedding and it was such a fun time. We were cramped in the smallest room ever, the four of us, but outside of it, we just kept partying and laughing and dancing and having so many fun adventures and it was just a time I'll always be thankful for. Deck, Daylight come and we wanna go home. I truly learned my value. My boo, my boo. Whoa, whoa there. What a value I have. I took care of myself. I got in shape. I felt the best I've ever felt. Sleep is apparently amazing if I, you can do it. I don't know. This bed doesn't really. Let's not talk about that. Um. <laughs> I got to take care of myself and Billy and my family and we just had a lot of great time and we learned a lot. It just really put into perspective what we love and what we want to do and why we're really doing it. And it was just a really great time being retired for those two months and sometimes I question why I'm not retired again. I don't know. This, this working thing. It, it takes too much time. I don't know. Number seven, my retirement ended after two months because I got a job in a college. I'm really not sure how that happened, but it's been a great learning experience and I've gotten to work with so many amazing people. I'm really enjoying it. This year has been a great year in my social life. I've gone on so many trips and vacations with friends and we've had ridiculous times. I don't think I've ever partied so much in a year, but my friends have shown me that there's a lot to be thankful for and to celebrate. One of the most fun days this year that happened was me asking my lovely ladies to be my bridesmaids. I surprised them with balloons and boxes and confetti cannons. <laughs> and then we went to the VIP movie Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, which is where we're going this New Year's to 
dance the night away at a club for Mamma Mia. Of course. We might need a wardrobe change, though. I haven't decided. I've really been enjoying where we are and the beautiful outdoors that are around us. And spending that time with family and friends has made it even more fun. Oh, uh, to the worm, to the worm. There we go. These are more, these are more comfy. All right, we got it. What am I doing? Even though I don't want to be living at home, I've really been enjoying all of the bonding time over making wedding decor and figuring out all the aspects to the wedding. And me and my spant, my smother, oh, we're really getting what we want and doing it our way. And it's just really nice. I was a bit worried that planning a wedding without my mom would be hard, but Judy's really been making it something special. And I'm very thankful for that. Also with Judy, we're doing impromptu vacations? What? I don't know. Who drives all the way to the west coast of Ontario and in the same night decides to drive all the way to Montreal? Us, apparently. Us two partners in crimes? I, I don't know how much longer we can live together, man. This is just... Oh, but here we are, somehow in Montreal, eating something for lunch and then chopping and then coming back home? Who are we? Wild people. We're wild. This is never going to happen again in my life. What? So I'm going to be settled down, <laughs> popping out babies, going going somewhere impromptu? Ha ha ha. No. One of my most favorite new toys that I've gotten myself this year has been a cricket. I am like a crafting fanatic. If I see it in the store, I won't buy it because I know I can make it. And this just opened the world to me of crafting. Uh, nothing takes as long as it used to and everything just looks amazing. I think I have a bit too much fun. You wouldn't be able to tell by how much I might curse and yell at it, but I love it. Number, what are we? I don't know, 14, 15, 17, 18, 20,000, a million, blah. This October for Canadian Thanksgiving, we went to Las Vegas. We had so much fun there. We have a house and we just enjoyed the nice weather and the palm trees and the wonderful shopping. Holy crap, all the sparkly dresses I got. And this one, this was a, this was a Toronto dress. It has long sleeves, no legs, but sleeves. You can't get that in Vegas. We had amazing hikes. We found this crazy place that doesn't look like you're in Las Vegas at all. There's peacocks everywhere and bunnies and grass and natural ponds. What? I don't even know where we were. It was like stepping into a painting. Like when you were little and you really wanted to jump into the painting like, what's his name? The guy from Blue's Clues. What's his name? He changed. Why did they change him? My childhood. We did a trip over to Los Angeles and we went to Disneyland for the day right around Halloween. It was so amazing seeing everything done up Halloween. Disney goes all out. After that, we drove around Bel Air. We saw fancy houses, looked at the stores that I would have to get a mortgage for, which I don't know too much about that yet. So I don't, I don't think I'll buy anything there. Went to the Santa Monica Pier. And we saw where all of the famous people have walked and put their hands in. We ended our day at the Griffiths Observatory and it just had the most stunning views of LA. It was like I was in La La Land. They really are like feathers everywhere. You can't see that. I can see them. There. I became an auntie again to my little Henry and oh my gosh I've only met you once but believe me Auntie Kim is coming to see you again. I cannot wait for all the fun I'm going to have with you and your big sister coming up. I've been having a lot of fun celebrating with those around me. My sister and my best friend got engaged. My best friends already asked me to be her bridesmaids and somehow we already have her dress and the bridesmaids just, I don't know, she's doing this thing real fast. I, I was not that fast. And I hope this is number 18. You bored? Billy and I have started looking at houses and having bank appointments. And I don't know who we are because we're not adults, but I'm so excited. And I really hope that coming up next year, we get to find somewhere amazing to live and 
just be us, our happily ever after. Next year has our wedding and our honeymoon and a house and endless possibilities. And let's just keep going with the positive vibes. Put it, put it out there, put it out there, put it out there. You hate me. <laughs> Until then, I'm going to look on the bright side of life and enjoy whatever it throws at me because bring it on. I can do it. <gasps> Phoebe, oh la la, we're under the mistletoe. Oh, you know what that means? I'm Kim of the world!